So you're first. Martini second. Baby May May third. Oh, how sweet that baby is. Yeah. Yeah, she's so itty bitty. She's itty bitty. Yes, she is. She's itty bitty. Itty bitty, yeah. I want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. Do you need a mattress for your home or RV? Brooklyn Bedding has many sizes to fit most. You get a 10 year warranty, free shipping, and best of all, they've got a plant down here in Phoenix, Arizona. So go to <clears throat> rvmattress.com slash campervankevin. Use the coupon code campervankevin to get 25% off your purchase. Okay? Okay. Now, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Mm -hmm. Me? I'm good. Got another project before I leave for the winter here at Vagabond Base Camp. As you can see, I've got my trailer hooked up behind the van. I'm going to go to town. I'm going to start on my gate down here, down here at the end of the driveway. I've got, uh, I've doubled my cameras and everything here. It's time to fortify the driveway a little bit. I mean, if someone's going to come in, they're going to come in, but uh, I'm not going to make it easy for them. And with my friends sitting here this winter, I'll probably be fine, but yeah, good to have that little extra security. I got Van Force One hooked up the trailer, headed to town. Doesn't that look a lot nicer since all that stuff's gone? What was left, we ended up burning yesterday. So this is what we have going on the day after Cat and Homer brought the big truck. All my friends have been out here with me for about the last three hours. We've got about 90, 95% of all the limbs and debris up, finally, after all this time. I had a burn permit. So the fire department still came by to check, make sure I was doing everything right. So I get rid of about 99% of all the uh, debris and limbs. Even got that over there and by the road as well. So I'm gonna bury this in these big holes that Frank made pulling these rocks out. Got a really good spot right here. Couldn't believe the root system on this stump that he got out. All right, but me and the wolf pack, we're gonna head to town. Come on. Go with us. Daddy, are we at the Home Depot? We are, baby. Just have got here. You need to clean off the limbs before you start filming again. Thank you, baby. I, I get to go in, right? Always tucks, what we do. How often do you get to stay in the van while I go shopping? Never. That's right. I'm coming to. You bet you, baby May May. So you're first. Martini second. Baby May May third. Look at this little bitty Yorkie. Man, she's she's teeny tiny. How much does she weigh? Three and a half pounds. Are your dogs skinny? Very. Three and a half. Itty bitty bitty. Oh, how sweet. And he's uh, 25 pounds, but he's full budded. We had him, uh, had his DNA checked. And then she's uh, six pounds, and she's 10 pounds. Where did you find one so tiny? In Chandler. Ooh. And I had one that grew to be 10 and a half pounds. 
And he was supposed to be her size. Beautiful, thank you. <laughs> huh. They look like you, but they're just a lot bigger. <laughs> they're like little people. They're not dogs, they're little people. Yeah. What do you think, baby mayonnaise? You thought you were little. Well, my husband didn't like dogs at all until he was <laughs> not her. <laughs> you be nice. You be nice. Thank you. Oh, this agility. <laughs> yeah. I used to have one his size that was a, an agility champion. Look at that. How fun is that? <laughs> it's Super tons of fun. Tucker, ah, what man? You know, it's almost Halloween. No, no, no kidding. Oh, looky, looky, looky. Man, you need to put some meat on your bones. Look at all these things, Tucker. Oh. What's that? Man, that thing's scary. What do you think, Tuck? What do you think? Is he scary? Yeah, I don't know. He looks a little funny. Good boy. Good boy. There's a dog. There's a dog. There's a woof woof. Look, baby May May. Look at that woof woof. Somehow I'm going to have to figure out how to pull this and this at the same time. How are we going to do it? Huh? How are we going to do it? Hey, ma'am. Well, Terry, he's a subscriber. He uh, he found us again. You, you were at Walmart when I sold right. the Red Tracker, right? We live in your neighborhood. Oh, okay. That's so right. That's right. right now until we build something. Good deal. Good deal. He walked by and I heard him say, hey, it's the Wolf Pack. Well, that's been fun not i uh the reason i came out here is because they had gates at a dollar a dollar 136 or 139 said there were seven in stock so i bought all my lumber and concrete and everything here got out here to the gates they didn't have it what they did have was a 16 foot gate made by the same company for 249 the manager said well since you come out here and didn't have the right one, we'll knock 50 off of this one. So it's a much more heavy duty. It's a lot thinner wall on those gates than this. Same company. Those are 14s and not 16s. So I spent a little bit extra money and got this. Now I've got it loaded up here. So I got the six by sixes for the post where these attach we got the 4x4s for bracing so all the wood was 150 and the gate cost me a little bit over 200 to get out the door my little trailer's coming in handy I gotta go get a flag before I get on the highway I'm out of here so I have no idea how I'm gonna get those 6x6 fence posts pressure treated fence posts in the ground no idea you know, I'm living right on top of that volcanic rock there at the place. But I might get lucky. And I also got a spud bar. If I hit rock, maybe I can hit it, shatter it, disintegrate it enough to get that six foot, six by six in the ground, three feet and concrete it. But uh, I gotta go get a flag for this thing. I'm sticking just far enough off the trailer to where I'm not legal. Two flags. You don't see one, see the other. Don't run into the back of it. Oh, I'm going home now. Well, it made it home. Just happened to have a couple straps. I keep motorcycle straps in the van, you know, because I got a motorcycle. What do you think, Carolyn? I like it. Heavy duty? Yes. I don't think anybody's going to be coming through that gate. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have uh, six by sixes on the ends of it. I want to see. I want to see. <laughs> but I doubt I'll get to be able to put it up on this video. Um, 
this ground this ground is hard out here isn't it where there's not hard soil there's a rock everybody's been commenting about your hard work out here yeah you see you read the comments in the last video no you should they all talking about carolyn oh goodness huh. i'm just occupying myself yeah yeah but uh we'll get this fence up soon enough fence gate come on kevin i want to take a minute to thank my newest sponsor to the camper van kevin channel electric e-bikes i've been riding electric e-bikes now for two years trouble free they have the the regular bicycle type and now the new trike lots of fun if you're in the market for an e-bike how about click the link below down in the description underneath this video. Take a look at the website. See if there's anything there that you like. They're based down here in Phoenix, Arizona. Great people, great service, great product. Also, I'm an affiliate for them. So by using the website, if you purchase something, it helps out the channel. Okay, back to the video. Man, you got the whole dug yet? Let me, let me check it. Is that the best you could do? Well, Tucker, I hit rock at about a foot and a half. How far you got to go? About another foot and a half. This ain't ever going to get done. Yeah, you, 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 maybe dynamite. Hmm. How about you take a turn? I, I'm good. I, I'd help you, but uh, I don't have thumbs. It's okay, Tuck. I'll handle this. Morning, Tuck. Man, did you sleep good? I slept pretty good, Tuck. I bet you was tired after trying to dig out a little hole. Well, I'm not used to doing that kind of work anymore, Tuck. So, a little bit. You didn't ever get it dig dug, though, did you? I didn't. I didn't. I'm going to go back and work on it some here in a minute. You want to go with me? Yeah, yeah, I'll go with you. I'll go with you. But I, I'd really, I'd really, I'd really like a, I'd like a hug. Okay, Tuck. You're a good boy. Daddy loves his Tuck Tuck. Daddy loves his Tuck Tuck. Well, it's the next morning. I'm really disappointed that I didn't get the gate put up in this video. I put uh, put a bucket here to keep anybody from driving in my hole. After I shot that little clip with Tucker yesterday, um, I've been adding I've been adding water and stuff to it as well. I hit a flat part, just nothing but rock. My neighbor Frank, he's got a uh, property right across the road from me and putting in these posts here, he said that uh, he had a flat rock shelf about a foot and a half down. So that, that rock shelf comes all the way across here. But I've got an idea. An auger won't do me any good. Um, I talked to a couple people around here with tractors and the heavy equipment, said you got to drill it. So, but I was hitting it with that spud bar. It's a spud bar is like a long steel rod, real heavy duty. I guess I could show it to you. This is a spud bar. I don't know. I'd say it weighs about 20 pounds. You got a sharp tip on one end and a flat tip on the other. And so I was hitting that rock with that, causing it to chip. Here's some pieces that I was getting out of it, but boy, it takes a lot of work to get it to chip. So I got to thinking maybe use a jackhammer to bust down in that. I don't know how, how thick a shelf it is. I don't know if it's three inches, six inches, 10 foot deep, I don't know. But it's volcanic rock and it's kind of porous so looked at renting a jackhammer 
about a hundred dollars a day and then I found electric jackhammers on um, eBay and Amazon here's a clip of what they can do so I can pull a generator out here and uh, use these uh, tools like the spud bar ends with that jack camera bust that rock if I can get down in that and then uh, get down another foot foot and a half and then cement it in a fence post fence post gate post it's not going to go anywhere so that's kind of my plan that's not going to be this video it's going to take about a week to get here all right well, I think that's going to make today's video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for going to the Home Depot with me. What about that tiny little Yorkie, y'all? Three and a half pounds. Half the size of baby May May. <laughs> Took my heart. Took my heart. But, uh, yeah, that's going to make a video. So I'm going to end this one. Where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. And as always, what? I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my Lord and Savior. All right, see you next video. Bye. From where? Concho, Arizona.